Vice President Kamala Harris says she believes that she and former President Donald Trump owe it to voters to have another debate. Speaking at a rally in Charlotte, North Carolina, two days after she met the Republican on stage for the first time on Tuesday, Harris said Trump showed in the debate that he has plans for how he would address the needs of the American people, because it's all about him, it's not about you. Her comments came minutes after Trump rejected another matchup, posting Thursday on Truth Social that there will be no third debate. He also suggested that a prizefighter who loses a bout is always the one to call for a rematch. Harris also mocked Trump for saying he has concepts of a plan to replace the Affordable Care Act, laughing as she quoted Trump from Tuesday night's debate when he was asked about his past support for repealing the law, colloquially known as Obamacare, without a plan to replace it. Concepts, she said, as the crowd roared. No actual plan. Concepts. She continued, 45 million Americans are insured through the Affordable Care Act. And he's going to end it based on a concept? Harris's campaign says it raised $47 million in the 24 hours after her first debate with Trump. The campaign says it came from nearly 600,000 donors. Two nights ago, Donald Trump and I had our first debate. <laughs> and I believe we owe it to the voters to have another debate. Because this election and what is at stake could not be more important. And North Carolina, on top of all of this, Donald Trump intends to end the Affordable Care Act. And as Stacey mentioned, you heard what he said in the debate. He, he has no plan to replace it. He said, he said, concepts of a plan. Oh, you all watched the debate. plan concepts. Well, folks, I said it then, I say it now. It's time to turn the page. Turn that page. Turn that page. tight race until the end, okay? It's gonna be a tight race until the end and we are the underdog. Understand that. We are the underdog. There are powerful forces trying to convince people that their vote doesn't matter. There are powerful forces here too. <laughs> but I say all that to say we've got some hard work ahead of us. But here's the thing I love about everybody here. We love hard work. Hard work is good work. Hard work is good work. Hard work is good work. And with your help, we will win in November. We will win. We will. We will win. So U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Poland's capital Warsaw on Thursday. He is expected to have meetings with Polish Foreign Minister Radosław Sikorski, President Andrzej Duda and Prime Minister Donald Tusk. Prior to his arrival in Warsaw, Blinken was in Kiev with UK Foreign Secretary David Lamy. 
The top diplomats traveled together to the Ukrainian capital on a rare joint tour to underscore their commitment to the country. Blinken announced more than $700 million in humanitarian aid, while Lamy confirmed that his country would provide another $782 million in assistance and loan guarantees.